I'm Jennifer Torres, a reporter with CMS Wire, and this is CMO Circle, our chance to get together with a different CMO each episode and ask them questions. Today, I'm very excited to welcome Jessica Gilmartin, Chief Marketing Officer of Calendly. Welcome, Jessica. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Uh, well, we appreciate your being here as well, and we'll get right into it. So what inspired you to pursue a career in marketing? Like, how did you get your start in the marketing industry? So I actually started my career as an investment banker, and I did that for four years. And I know, not, not a traditional start <laughs> to marketing. And I, I went to business school because I knew I wanted to switch careers, but I had no idea what I wanted to do. And I took my first marketing class and I fell in love and I realized that that was for me. And I, I went to Wharton and not surprisingly, the marketing at Wharton is very data driven. And so what I loved about it was this combination of using my right brain and my left brain, right? So you can be really creative, but also grounded in data. And so um, ended up majoring in marketing and then was lucky enough to get a job in marketing in Austin. And that was, that was it. Oh, that's great. It does seem everyone I talk to in marketing, um, a lot of them do come from different areas. It just, it's a very dynamic field with um, people from a lot of different professions that just kind of find their heart in marketing when they get started. So that's amazing. Um, number two, can you describe a particularly stressful marketing campaign or project that you led and, and what you learned from it? Well, I think they're all particularly difficult and stressful in their own way. Um, so I, mean, I think the, the hardest ones tend to be where, you know, you're doing something for the first time or you're rallying a team for the first time and you're kind of struggling through things. And I think one of the biggest challenges is really overcoming people's fears that they're going to fail. Right. And so I think one of the, the biggest things that I always talk about is, is psychological safety and really making people comfortable with the idea that things are going to fail. Um, and things are going to, not, nothing is going to be perfect the first time. So I'd say one of the, you know, a, a difficult campaign uh, at Calendly, I've, I've only been here for four months. Mm -hmm. And so I think a difficult campaign was the first campaign that we all ran together, where we were all learning about each other and learning from each other. And, you know, we hadn't quite figured out our patterns. We hadn't quite figured out how we all work together. Um, and so I think it was stressful for the team because they didn't know when to bring me in or how to bring me in. They didn't really know my working style. And I didn't really know the team and I didn't really understand their strengths and what they were interested in and what they could do. And so I think that just understanding how do we work together? How do I give them the you know autonomy, but also having some control and understanding of what they do and sort of that, that trading, um, mm -hmm. it was, was definitely really challenging. Mm. And so what, can you describe a particularly successful marketing campaign or project and what you learned from it? Yeah, so we actually just launched uh, Calendly Routing a few months ago, which was our first big product launch that we have done in many, many years. Mm -hmm. And um, and basically what routing is, is it enables um, prospects when they come to a website, instead of filling out a form and waiting weeks to hear back from a salesperson, they can actually schedule a, a meeting with a salesperson or a CS person right from the website. So it eliminates all of the messy middle um, that we typically see with leads. So we, we just launched that and I think the it was very, very successful. And I think the reason it was successful is because my team took a really highly personalized approach with how we marketed. So instead of just doing a blast email and messaging to everybody in our database, we looked at each of our segments and we created very, very tailored messaging to each of those. So for example, if we already knew that you use HubSpot, we would send you a, a very specific message talking about how our routing integrated with HubSpot. And if we knew that you were this type of customer with this type of needs. And so we had dozens of these different you know, sort of paths. And when I think about marketing and I think about really good marketing, it really is about that personalization and creating a very tailored message. It's so much harder, but I think in the end, it's really, really worth it. Mm, okay, great. Well, I can't believe this, but we're, um, oh, we, well, we're on question number four here. How do you stay up to date with the latest marketing trends and technology? Because you know, there are a lot these days to stay, to keep up with. Yes. And how do you keep your team informed of them? So I, um, I actually love to join marketing 
Slack groups and other types of marketing groups. So I'm, I'm actually involved in a lot of them. And I swear 90% of the conversations are, have you used this? Or what have you used? Or what do you think of this? Or this or that? So it's clearly something that all marketers think about. Uh, so that is the number one way that I keep track is I, I love to see what are the latest things that te you know tech that people are using. Um, I also, you know, I, I'm very fortunately get invited to a lot of dinners and other, you know, very small events with other marketers. And I find that that's a really great way to get to dig in a little bit deeper and understand how people are using technology and how they're thinking about it. So, I mean, that really is like the number one thing for me is just hearing from other marketers. Um, and with my team, I'm just passing that down. So I actually was just on a call this morning with someone from uh, the venture capital firm that we invest in. And I asked him, what are the tools that I should be thinking about? And I made a list and I'm just going to, as soon as this meeting's <laughs> over, I'm going to send out a Slack to my whole team, letting them know. So I just think that it's a, you know, just a, a constant, you know, asking questions and learning from other marketers and just trying to pass that down to my team. Definitely. Okay. Well, last question. What advice do you have for someone aspiring to get into the marketing industry or to maybe be a CMO one day? What qualities do you think are essential for this field? So I love this question because I think about it a lot um, and I really invest a lot in my team in thinking about how they can be successful. We're actually, we just launched a Making Great Marketers program at Calendly um, and I actually posted something on LinkedIn if you want to check it out or, or all around sort of how I think about it. But I think one of the, the big things that I think a lot about as a great marketer is you have to ask a lot more questions than you speak, right? So you have to be really intellectually curious and you are constantly in investigation mode. And what that means is you're constantly asking questions about who your customers are and what are their needs and what can you do to make sure that you are speaking to their needs. And you have to be talking to your salespeople and asking them questions about what do they like? What do they not like? What more can you do for them? You know, why are they winning deals? Why are they losing deals? You have to be talk, you know, asking questions of your CFO, um, which is, you know, what do you care about? And you know, what are what are you concerned with? Um, what information do you need for, for me to give you so you can understand what I'm doing? You have to ask questions of the data. And that's really important, which is, you know, hey, what are we doing now and how can we do things better? Um, because you know, I think in marketing in particular, things change so quickly. So, you know, the things that you were doing yesterday are definitely not the things that you want to be doing today. So for me, it really is about just being very intellectually curious, very humble, and very empathetic to all of your customers and stakeholders. Oh, well, that's a great response. And, and I really enjoyed speaking with you today, Jessica. Um, this has been Jessica Gilmartin, CMO for Calendly, joining us today. And um, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. All right, great. Well, this is Jennifer Torres with CMO Circle, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.